my dear friends and welcome to our second lesson on mixtures so we want to handle a past cases equation done in 2014 paper 2 question number 17 so the question reads that a paint dealer mixes three types of paint a b and c in the ratio of a to b is 3 to 4 and the ratio of b to c is 1 to 2 so the mixture is to contain 168 liters of c so part a find the ratio of a b and c so to find the ratio, we just use the formula that uh, we learned in Form 1. So we are given the ratio of A to B. We are told that A to B is 3 to 4. So let me just uh, rewrite it here. So the ratio of A to B, we are given as 3 to 4. Then the ratio of B to C. So B to C, we are given as 1 to 2. So B to C is equals to 1 to 2. So remember we are tackling part A. So they want us to find the ratio of A, B, and C. So this is uh, part A of the question. So to find the ratio, we just look at the term which is common. So we have B is common, B is also common in the second part. So what we'll do, we just ensure that we make uh, the values of B on this side and the value of B on this other side to be the same. So of course we can achieve that by multiplying this equation by a certain value also this equation by a certain value so because this is 4 and this is 1 so the easiest way of balancing the two is i'll multiply the first equation by 1 so this one i multiply by 1 then the second equation i multiply by 4 so that i'll have the values of b being the same so that means that means my ratio of a to b uh 2 a, a to B will become 1 by 3, I'll simply get 3 to 1 by 4, I'll simply get 4. Then the ratio of B to C will be equal to 4 by 1, I'll get 4, 2, 4 by 2, I'll simply get a ratio of 8. So that means my ratio of A to B to C will be equal to, from here you can see that B are the same. So the value of B here is 4, the value of B is also 4. So when the ratios are balanced, you just pick the values directly. So the ratio of A is simply 3, so this is 3, 2. The ratio of B is simply 4. You can also see uh, B is also 4 for this other particular case. So the ratio of B is also 4. Then the ratio of C is actually 8. The ratio of C is 8. So those are the ratios A, B, and C. Then part B. But B, they want us to find the, uh, that is, find the required number of liters of B. So remember, we were given the that 168 liters represent C. So we'll just say if 168 liters represent the value of C, what about the ratio of B? So from this particular relation, C is actually 8. And we are told that 168 liters of C. So that means 168 liters, 168 liters is equivalent to the ratio of C and the ratio of C from this question the value of C is actually 8 the ratio of C is uh, 8 so what about they want us to find uh, find the number of liters of B so what about the ratio of B so the ratio for B was actually 4 so what about 4 so if 168 liters represent a ratio of 8 what about a ratio of 4 so this will be 4 divided by 8 times 168 liters which will give us so allow me to just compute it here so i have 4 over 8 multiplied by 168 so this will give me 84 liters so this is 84 liters so those are the number of liters that represent uh, b then part c they're telling us that the cost per liter of type a is 160 of type b is 205 and of type c is uh, 100 Calculate the cost per kg, uh, that is per liter of the mixture. So that is when we now go to our table. So we just have a simple table here. So the table, in this case, we are dealing with three ratios. So we need three, uh, three columns, actually four columns, so that uh, this one will represent for the ratio of A, ratio of B, ratio of C. Then, of course, this will be the mixture. This represents the mixture so the first value will now be the ratio of course the ratios in this case are in liters so the ratio in liters so we have the values there so the ratio of a b and c we have found it as 3 4 to 8 so the ratios are actually 
3 to 4 to 8. So the total ratio of the mixture or the mixture will have, you just add the ratios, you simply take 3 plus uh, 4 plus the other ratio was 8 plus 8, you will get a total ratio of the mixture as 15. So this will give me 15. Remember these are liters uh, because the ratios were actually in liters. Then the cost, we now talk cost uh, per liter. So because we are talking of the liters, the other one was cost per kg because uh, we were talking of masses. So this one is the cost per liter. So we are told that uh, the cost per liter of type A is 160. So for, ta for type A we have uh, 160. Remember these are shillings. Huh? These are shillings. Then the cost for type B. For type B its cost is 205 shillings. So this is 205 shillings. Then the cost for type C is 100 shillings. So this is 100 shillings. Then from here we go to the total cost. Total uh, cost. The total cost will be, you just multiply the ratio times the cost per liter. So if one liter costs 160 shillings, what about 3 liters? So that will simply be 3 times 160, which will give me uh, 480. So this is uh, 480. Remember these are shillings. These are shillings uh, for those number of liters. So if um, 1 liter of type B cost 205. What about 4 liters? So it will just be 4 liters times uh, 205. So this will give us a total of 820 shillings. Then if um, 100 liters of type C, that is if uh, 1 liter of type C cost 100 shillings, what about 8? So that will simply be 8 times 100, which gives us 800 shillings. 800 shillings. Then from there you find the total cost. Total cost you simply uh, you simply add this one, you add 480 plus 820 plus 800 so that I get the total cost for that mixture. So that is 480, then plus uh, 820, then plus uh, 800. 480 plus 820 plus 800, so that will give me uh, 2100. So this is equals to, uh, these are shillings, 2100. Zero, zero. Then from there we are asked to find the find the cost that is find the cost per kg of we are required to calculate the cost per kg of the mixture the cost per kg of the mixture so remember this is C Roman one this is C Roman one calculate the cost per liter of the mixture so to find the costs per liter we simply um, we simply uh, do this so the cost per liter cost per liter also called the buying price per liter, buying price per liter will simply be given by the formula. You simply take the total cost, total cost, which is in shillings, divided by the total ratio, the total ratio, which of course is in liters. So that will give us uh, total cost is 2,100 shillings. So we have 2,100 shillings divided by the total ratio is actually 15 liters. So the total ratio is 15 liters. So we'll get, we'll simply uh, find a total cost. So cost per liter, the cost uh, per liter, cost per liter of the mixture, which is also the buying price per liter of the mixture, will simply be equal to. So if I take 2100 divided by 15, so answer divided by 15, I'll simply get 140 shillings. I've just taken um, 2100 divided by 15. So that gives me 140 shillings. So remember these are shillings 140 in one liter. 140 shillings per liter. 140 shillings per liter which is the same as the buying price per liter. So that is for Roman 1 calculate the cost price. So that is the cost price per liter is just the same as the buying price per liter. Then Roman 2, they want us to find the percentage profit if the selling price of the mixture is 182 shillings per liter. So we are given uh, the selling price, calculate the percentage profit. So we are given the selling price per liter as 182 shillings per liter. So this is uh, Kenya shillings, 182, that is per liter. So remember, we also have the buying price, uh, and they want us to find the percentage profit profit find the percentage profit if the selling price of the mixture was 182 so we know that percentage profit is equals to you simply take the uh, selling price 
minus buying price that is to find the profit of a buying price times 100 percent so this will give us the selling price we are told is 182 that is per liter so 182 minus the buying price we have computed it as 140 so minus 140 over the buying price 140 times 100 percent so this will give us if i take 182 minus 140 uh, 182 minus 140 i'll simply get um, 42 so this is equals to uh, 42 divided by 140 times 100 percent which will give me so let me just compute it here 42 over 140 multiplied by 100 so i'll get 30 percent so my profit is actually 30 percent so that is the percentage profit then um the last part find the selling price of the mixture if the mix uh, find the selling price of a liter of the mixture if the dealer makes 25 percent profit so they want us to find the selling price so remember so this is roman um roman 3 roman 3 of uh, part c they want us to find the um, selling price so selling price is equals to you simply take uh they want us to find if find the selling price of a liter if the mixture uh, if the dealer makes 25 percent profit so you'll simply take if it's 25 percent uh, if it is a profit, you add to 100. If it is a loss, you subtract from 100. So we'll simply take uh, 100 plus 25. Of course, that is a percentage of 100% of the buying price. That is if you want to find the profit. If it was to make a, a loss of 25%, you could have taken 100 minus 25% of 100 of the buying price. So which is simply equal to 125 over 100 times the buying price remember buying price is the cost per liter or the cost price which was 140 shillings so times 140 shillings so this will give us so let me just uh, compute it faster so we have uh, 120 125 over 100 times 140 so this will give me uh, 175 shillings so this will be equal to kenya shillings 175 that is of course per liter 175 per liter so that is how to behave when you are given a question of that particular format so the most important thing to note is just this particular table it helps you to simplify your work thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified so expect more examples involving mixtures this is kind tuition academy until next time